This video is going to be about membrane carbohydrates. So the two kinds of carbohydrates uh, in our membranes that we need to know about are glycoproteins and glycolipids. So in glycoproteins, what's going to happen is that you have a branch chain of about 15 carbohydrates that is covalently linked to a protein. So that's going to form our glycoproteins. And this is um, a lot more common than our second type of membrane carbohydrate, which are glycolipids. So similarly to the glycoproteins, we have a uh, branched chain of carbohydrates that is covalently linked this time to a lipid instead of to a protein. So these two membrane uh, carbohydrates are very important for cellular recognition and cellular uh, interactions. So um, a real-world example of how important these membrane carbohydrates can be is our A, B, and O blood types. So each of those blood types is going to be distinguished by different uh, carbohydrates bound to the surface of our red blood cells. And so if you don't have the right um, if you don't have the right carbohydrate tag on a particular blood cell, or if you get a blood transfusion with a type that is different than your own, then you have a reaction because your body uh, recognizes those as foreign on the basis of the glycolipids and the glycoproteins in their membranes. So um, these markers are very specific. So they are very specific to species. Um, they're very even within a species, they can be very different. And even within an individual, an individual, they can be very different depending on cell type uh, or tissue type or what's going on with that cell or where it is in the body. So these membrane carbohydrates are very important to have an understanding of, and they're going to be very important for several different um, cellular interactions. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.